Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the legendary server. I started making my way over to uh, Strider's room as it, it said to us uh, for us at the end of the last episode to go talk to Strider. I thought we should probably start in his room instead of doing the trip over. And I just walked over here and it said the door to Strider's room is locked. Uh, so just in case you're wondering why that's changed and why that's there, that is us uh, having done that. Today, we also have our hobby gift of the day before we start, so let's have a look at what that is. But, uh, Scroll of Max Melon Power. Oh, we have quite a lot of those. I think we got some in the last episode as well. We're up to nine. We're getting a lot of these things. I wish we had some better stuff. Um, yeah, we, okay, I forgot what that was. Let's go talk to Bali Mendebatabur. Let's see what's happening there. Uh, because... Strider, as we can see, is uh, not there. I'm hoping mainly today, my main thing out of today is I want to get to level 20, mainly because I can technically open these, and also uh, I'm not going to, I don't think, but I also will be able to open this reinforced leather armor, so that should be good. Let's have a talk. How can I be of service? Okay. Uh, I was worried that he'd sour my beer for letting Mr. Uh, Underhill and his friends go off with that ranger. He who? Oh, why that would be Mr. Gandalf, of course. They said he's a wizard of some sort or some such. And I'll say somewhat, uh, something to those tales for them. My beard never been better. He was so pleased. Begging your pardon, I do run on sometimes. Gandalf said to send anybody looking for Strider up to his room. It's up the stairs just beyond Strider's room. Okay, so we have to go talk to Gandalf now. Uh, and he is just, uh, he's actually the one I'm more familiar with because he's right ahead, straight ahead this way um and then to the right yeah hello gandalf how are you why do you disturb me right malbellus oh that is a necklace that gives us 34 might okay i need your assistance would you look at that that is book number one completed malbellus 34 might and then we have this as well. Talk to Saradan at his cabin along the Greenway. We know where he is. We've been there before. Uh, so I think we can go there from the stable monster. I think. That should be good. So just a case of us going along this way. We can probably have a quick look at the stable monster's map. It's going to be a bit laggy for the moment, I think. I don't know why, but it seems to be very... There it is. Seems to have fixed itself. So we should... Oh, it's not technically an open area, so... Asos camp... Maybe we'll just have to go Hengstace's farm. Right. So yeah, we obviously want to go up to Saradin over here. He has got travel locations, but he's not an actual stable master. He's a little bit of a weird setup. Um, I will have a quick look at the stable master just in case, but I think more than likely we are not able to actually do anything so we will uh, not do that but let's go talk to you Bill Rosewood what can I do for you? no okay so it's just gonna be a manual ride over there that's fine we'll just do that um, and then when we talk to him well we've got this deed Shadows of Angmar that gives us 20 Lotra points and a Light from the Shadow when we complete that. The Scourge of the North is the final book for that. Book uh, number 8, The Scourge of the North. We've got a few more to do. The Red Maid, Council of the North, Chasing Shadows, Laugh Refuge, The Fires of the North, The Hidden Hope, and The Scourge of the North. All worth it for 20 Lotra points? Not really, but you get a lot more Lotra points just going along the way, so I think it's still worth it. Surprisingly, I've still not seen any copper ore. I still need to go down to here, Midwater Marshes, so maybe when we go around there it's worth picking up. I think we need 150 uh, copper altogether to actually do what we want to do, so... Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. I've apparently been attacked. I have uh, a disease. A boar's disease by has infected you. I've got minus 20 melee damage and minus 20% range damage for two minutes. Uh, so we actually need to take this off our tracker because we don't particularly care too much about that. That will just slowly get done. We can't really go out of our way to do that, uh, unlike like a Slayer Deed, for example. What can I do for you? Talk to Candethers, camp in the Lone Lands. Okay, we also had introduction to the Lone Lands, so that's always great. That's gonna he can take us there, can't he? How can yes. I do service? 
Easy. And finally, we are here. That took like six or so minutes. Something like that. I'll, I'll maybe put a thing saying how long it was. But that took an absolute age to get here. I expected it to be a swift travel over to here, but I kind of get it. It's like, you know, it's not an official real stable master, so why would it it's do that to send us over here? That took ages though. Um, it took a really weird route. It took the route around. So we started here. We went up around up here and then down through this way. So you can see we've uh, gone to Weatherway over here. Um, I expected it. I, I thought for a moment it was just going to go there and it was going to the wrong space. But no, uh, it went all the way around. Probably, well, it's quicker than us probably going this way. But, you know, if we were straight from Bria, it would have been quicker. It's really weird, though, but really, really cool. Like, it shows off some areas you'll otherwise go to uh, during this time and uh, gets us here in time. So it looks like we can uh, do the same to get back. There we are, level 20. Uh, we got there. So we have got to level 20, earning 1,276 SP, uh, getting some some money. We have completed the Undying. A new title has been bestowed upon you. You may now be known as Dagron the Undying. Thank God. Uh, we've got the Blood Rage skill, 200 Destiny points. We've got Horns of Valor, Audacity, Ardent, uh, Adept, sorry, and Runic Use. So what does that do us? Uh, breaks Champion out of any impaired combat state. Oh, that is useful. Um, so we have a few of these. I also found, and I'm so glad, because obviously when we're doing this sort of thing, to take us to, I guess, Elstaldin and the Forsaken Inn, which we do need to go to quickly, um, the, which is good, because we need to go there anyway for this. Um, obviously when you're using something like that, you don't have... Um, you don't take... Like, you don't aggro anything, which is really good, because there was some half... I think it's near Weatherway. There are some half... Uh, half orcs that are level 55 <laughs> so that is a bit of a struggle so what do we need to do defeat some crobans and also kill yeah kill some ranged and melee white hand orcs so we'll do that quickly these guys are a bit of a pain but now we're level 20 it doesn't actually matter if we die or not obviously i'm not going to go out of my way to die i'm going to try not to but it doesn't actually uh, matter too much now i mean if we can spend as much possible time without dying as possible. That would be very nice. Oh, whilst we're here, we also have this to open. Uh, we want what we've got. That might be a good one. We're looking for something we haven't got a huge might. I think it's going to be these for the increased might. So there's those. And there was something else. Oh yeah, we can now use that, but that's not a huge deal for us. And there was something else here that was level 20, but I don't think it will affect us too much. This is level 22, 22, 21, I think. Yeah, so. We just need to get critically hit enemies with Blade Wall. Okay, cool. Yeah, we did trade it. Yeah, we did. Cool. So we've got that increased might now, which is good. And we also got uh, from that necklace... We got earlier Melbalas that we uh, we got from Gandalf, and you are uh, a lot easier to kill than that other guy. So maybe I'll just pick the wrong guy to start with. So yeah, we've got talk to someone in the Forsaken Inn. I'm not sure that gives us XP for the introduction quests or the destination quests, um, but at least it's something. And then we've also got talk to the proprietor, so that is something out of that. Uh, yeah, Messenger, you are a bit of a pain. Weathertop Exploration, so we've found Glumhalla, we need to find Weatherfo Weatherfoot, Weathertop, and Ekad Sul. So we know where Weathertop is. It's, yeah, we'll go up there eventually. It's a quest, I think. It might not count it within the instance, that's my only worry, but there is an instance where we go up there. And then we need to find some Krabens after this, because, well, we need to go kill some. <laughs> uh, can I kill both of you? I probably can get away with it. If I just let my morale go up a little bit. Another thing as well, uh, by being level 20, is we now have instances, or skirmishes rather, so we can do skirmishes, uh, which is nice if we do want to 
ever, or if we ever get stuck behind XP wise, like we're under leveled severely for something, we can always do, uh, you know, trouble in Tugbra or uh, the Bree one. What is there? Specific. We can't do that many. So we've got Yule, Battle of, Battle of Frostbuff. These are the seasonal ones. Then we've got Summer and the uh, Skirmisher, Defense of the Prancing Pony, and Inn of the Forsaken. We don't actually have all any of the others available yet. I don't know if they're because they weren't available at this time within content, or if it's just not available to us level-wise. Uh, could be either. I could really foresee it being either, so. And I think at level 20 now, we'll be getting a lot more of these deeds uh, for skills. And specifically now we're after melee. That's on on their horse. No, it's not. Are these messengers melee or are they? Yeah. Okay. And one of you. At least we've got a necklace now. It's been a very long time since we had a necklace, so. As in never. Oh, you're a messenger, you're the 1,700 guy. Please don't kill me. I need to regen morale a little bit first before I feel comfortable taking on someone extra. No, I, I don't know why I thought I'd have a trait point available. Maybe because I barely ever put them on and I'm really good at forgetting. This is where AoE is useful. Where you accidentally aggro. Right, after this guy we have one more. You're a hand, you're a pillager, yeah. So after you, kill that one. Craven should not be that difficult to find. And then, like, if I go over you, yeah, you don't count. And Cravens, as I said, should not be too difficult to find. And we will complete these quests. It take us back to Candeth. This one is, like, the actual epic quest, so this will give us the most XP anyway. Let's focus on these Cravens first, though. I guess we could go down while we're here. And regen our morale. And then just over time, kill the Cravens. What do you need? How can I be of service? Collect the Orc Orders. Where are said Orc Orders? They are in that area. Nope, that is not a craven. Might keep tabbing around just to make sure. An orc messenger surely to have uh, surely at one of the Emnui camps. Where still can this own into camp into the Woodford weather top. So all those messengers I just killed. Uh, even just by accident. I need to wait to respawn and do it again. I can kill this guy. Just need to get him before he gets that other guy, and then he won't aggro. To be fair, these guys are level 22, and this quest is level 22, so we are a little under-leveled for it. But, I think we should be fine. I'm just hoping he drops it, definitely. Hey, perfect. Efficiency. We might have to wait for the Kraven for next episode, just because I feel like a lot of people are doing these quests at the moment. Like, it's really busy here compared to, like, I won't say Bree, but let's say, you know, um, any of the quest areas around Bree. It's a lot busier. So I think a lot of them are being killed right now, which is a little difficult for us. At least we're focusing on the epic quest stuff. And a bunch of other quests. Orc Thieves. And this one. Warmaster, Uzur, and Collect the Orders as well. I'll take off this destination quest. I'll put on... That quest. 
Yeah, I guess that works. Um, so collect Candace bow. That gives us his spare bow, which is a quite a decent increase. Obviously, we lose the reduced range skill time, but when only one of our skills is range skill, it's not a huge deal. So we'll be fine with that for the moment. I do think, though, we will probably end off today. We've done quite a lot. We've still got a lot to do, though. We will uh, head... Well, we'll keep around here for the moment, but we will kill some Krabens next episode. We'll also go up here, I take it, and collect the loot boxes or love boxes. Candace Bow. Um, where is it? Preparing for the future? No. Uh, Orc Steve's is up there. And then that killing up there. So we have to go to uh, Gondrin, which uh, we've... Well, we've gone past but we actually haven't gone into yet. I'm a little worried that's where the level 55 half orcs are, but I don't think it's where that is because I would feel like that'd be a little unfair for us. So uh, that's going to be it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, now that I'm level 20, I might try and send myself over some level 20 gear if I can get a hold of it. If not, we'll, uh, we'll have to see what we can do with what we've got for the moment. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.